Welcome back for part four of Aranessa versus the earliest Ultimate Crisis. We kind of got bored over here and have declared war on Scrag and his ogre friends. We just sacked Argalis, but did not leave ourselves enough movement to actually War's occupy it. Set. Classic blunder, but that's not too important. We can occupy it next turn, and we weren't going to be able to get to another settlement next turn anyway. No. So, let's grab this rank of point for Aranessa. So we could get a hit point boost up here. Missile resistance, those are both decent. Um, or we could do... Yeah, these two don't matter too much. Income from raiding, blah, that's not very impactful. Local recruit capacity, melee defense, more boost for Sartosan units that we've more or less gotten rid of. Campaign move range wouldn't be bad, but we are traveling around with multiple armies together right now, so I kind of want them to be about the same speed. Yeah, more boost for Sartosans. Okay, missile strength for Carinade Mortar and Queen Bess units, that's not bad. But is missile strength the issue? I feel like it's not. We already have one lot of plus eight percent missile strength from this. I think I would rather go along this line and grab maybe this point as soon as possible. Because we do have some units getting close to Gold Chevron experience, including, yeah, well, we already have the Queen Bess at rank seven and above. And that is just such a big boost. So, yeah, let's grab a vast year. All right, we can go into. No, I guess we can dig for treasure. Find me treasure. And then encamp. Find treasure. Yeah, so these ones have. These ones are getting pretty close to gold chevrons. And yeah, I think I got a bit ahead of myself the previous turn, and I forgot to actually recruit this vampire fleet captain. Uh, looks like we've got disciplined law of vampires. Well, I'm not saying no to that. Yeah, I think I could have recruited her last turn and had her join the army for that battle. We we just fought against the ogres, but that's fine. Discipline is a great trait. Law of Vampires is obviously great. Fleet Captain reporting. Yes, the winds blow true. Okay, so all my guys here are in camp. The sea brings death. Oh, but that doesn't let me recruit. That doesn't let my other lords recruit from Aranessa's... Yeah, it doesn't let me recruit artillery. Um, okay, well, we can fix that by juggling units around a little bit. So, we've got a big pile of gold. We've got some pretty easy pickings, hopefully. We're ship -shaped. No, I'm not worth a turn to sack Myrmidons. Oh, right, it's held by the ogres. It's never going to be... Super high tier, that's right. Ship shape. All bones on deck. So what I could do is take some artillery from Aranessa and have her recruit some more. Aranessa salt spite. It's not coming in with any experience, that's unfortunate. Don't have more yeah, don't have more handgunners. We always want to be Checking for those. We've invested so much into boosting these guys, but next turn we're going to have that banner that boosts their range as well. Um, but I do think... Of the night. I think even if we were in the hole in terms of income each turn at the minus 2,000 kind of level, I think I'd be okay with that, given we're doing fighting, we've got the endgame crises armies soon that will obviously bring us a lot of money if we're strong enough to beat them. So I think I do want to recruit artillery here. Move or get the lash. Um, so what I'll do... Mark, you dead curs. Yeah, this is a little awkward, isn't it? Well, let's stand in our own territory for that replenishment. Yeah. Then we'll do a Move. unit swap with Aranessa. And let's take 
four mortars over here. Yeah. Wait for better tides. Ah, uh, yuck. Okay, that sort of that put us back into the enemy territory, so we lose replenishment. Uh, that's okay. We've got Laura Vampire casters. We can we can heal this guy now, even in in combat. I mean. Do I need to slightly watch my position and not have my armies randomly split up? That would be a stupid way to yes, master. have something bad happen. Alright, well you get to encamp here. Is it time? And Aranessa does get to recruit more units. Yeah, sadly we have no experience chevrons. Let's do two carronades, two mortars. Yeah, the extra range on the carronades is good. I don't think we have a way to boost range on mortars. I might be wrong, but I don't... Well, we definitely don't have one. Whether one's available at some point, I'm not sure. Um, so the Karenids have that range advantage. They also have the advantage... Yeah, they are better against large targets. It's, it's, it's I think, a 1 to 2 kind of ratio. Like, 2 Karenids, 4 Mortars is a solid mix. I mean, the Mortars are good on their own. But this is going to give us... The basis for 2 stacks. Yeah, and it will put us... More in debt, that's fine. On deck. Very yeah. Good. So what do we want to start building here? We're getting one growth point each turn, which is awesome. So this is eight growth, uh, growth points. That gives us plus one hero capacity for Vampire Fleet Captain. So that is really good. But I think... Yeah, this unique building is pretty good too. Might want to get going on that. It only takes one growth, and then it's just gold to upgrade. Melee defense when defending. Yeah, we're not going to be doing a whole lot of defending. Could also go for more growth and experience gain. Yeah, there's nothing that stops you gaining more than one actual growth point, uh, population surplus point per turn, so that all adds up. We could then, yeah, get that and then this next turn, and a small boof, boost to unit you know, experience gain. Obviously there's a lot of other good stuff here as well. So much green. I don't think we need another uh. recruitment building. We're at tier 3, so we could get... We could get up to here, but these buildings don't give extra uh, capacity for those heroes. We need the tier 4 and 5 versions that we're probably a little ways away from. Right, so do I want any of these other units? Not too badly, I think. So yeah, let's go for growth. Um, can I do anything here? You're rank 6, you can't, yeah, you still can't get up to the best officers. This one is really good though, the hero and recruit rank, hero and lord recruit rank plus 3 is awesome, plus 2 hero capacity for vampire fleet captains is really good. Yeah, so once he gets to rank 10, we'll stick him in here. This is why it's, it's just useful to get lords starting to level up uh, earlier. Yeah! Ready. Alright. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can always fill out this army with, with pistol guys. I just don't think we really need to. Aranessa's army... I'm no mermaid. It is very sort of backline heavy, but that's kind of how I have how I envisaged it Freedom. being designed. I'm planning to have it fight in conjunction with these other guys. Um, so we do have still plenty of frontline. Alright, we picked up one more... Treasure map. Let's just have a quick check of where that is. Okay, up in Nagarant. Never mind. I guess I could have I could have just tell from the fact that it wasn't one of these markers nearby that it wasn't wasn't close, but that's fine. This gets to tier three next turn. That's good. Over here, this gets to tier two next turn. So we'll have money to spend on construction over this way. I'm not going to bother at all with these minor settlements. But yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, we already played around a bit with the diplomacy. We might be able to get some money out of the broken nose before they get wiped out. Orders. Yeah, let's go to the next turn. Oh, hold on, we got a follower. 
that increases... Yeah, we're starting to pick up more stuff here. So, income from post-battle loot. That's a lot. I think we want that on Aranessa right now, rather than... Does that... Oh, does that still work if it's on a hero rather than a lord? I'm not sure it would. What is your demand? Yeah, I think if we have a tough battle, we should probably stack as much protection on Aranessa as we can. But for now, let's the go queen. the greedier path. Yeah, next turn we finish the tech. And we pick up the Master Gunner. Yes, that's going to be awesome for Aranessa. Of course, we can always give it to other admirals if we want at some point. Okay, we're not going to do the Kraken's Bane quest at the moment. We've got 1400 infamy, so maybe after, oops, maybe after, maybe after we finish this we should actually look at grabbing another guy with access to shipbuilding. Alright, we'll decide that next time. Let's, yeah, we've done everything we're doing here. I don't think I want a fourth lord. Uh, no, we're going to be decently in the red when we recruit here. I think kind of two stacks worth of units and then a third lord to just try and get a bit of extra experience. That's a good mix. Certainly at this point, my plan is to, uh, given that the endgame crisis didn't spawn like one of, on one of the earliest turns, my plan is to um, really try and hold our starting area rather than abandon it. I think we might be strong enough to do that. Uh-oh. This looks like a war declaration to me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Of course, we, we declare war on somebody and someone else comes and declares war on us. Yep, and she's not fighting anybody else, so she will be sending armies up this way. Sigh. Yeah, okay. It is what it is. It doesn't show her as being super strong compared to us. We might have to... Yeah, we can take a break from going after the ogres and set up an ambush stance and then position to basically attack her forces whenever, you know, wherever they land. It doesn't look like they're going straight for Sartosa. But that's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Oh, you're running back over this way? Hmm, okay. <laughs> I think we can get him, though. Oh, that looks like we have the crisis spawning. Or the game is just crashing for some other reason. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, we did get the Master Gunner in time, though. Wild Hunt begins, the biggest war, Vampiric Ascension, the Black Pyramid, and it grids too far. Okay. The lady has no time for empty words, and neither do I. Yeah, Hurry she didn't speak. end up at war with an Engram faction. That is unfortunate. So, a bit of a more complicated turn, I guess. Can we kill him? A done deal. No, but yes, if I... Around here. Yeah, we just need a little extra movement to reach his army. Captain, reporting. A mutineer, if ever. Oh, they... Sh yeah, the fleet captains replenish. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was replenish or if it was um, extra movement. Okay, well, what I can do... I need more crew. I cannot! I kinda wish I knew it was in these armies just to see how big I a threat really they actually are. Yeah, this is what I was concerned about with those knights errant, and they've brought good old Henri Le Massif. Yeah, so Clan Angren stack spawned right here. I thought they spawned wherever faction leader was, but maybe I'm mistaken about that, because I don't actually see Belagar here. But we've got... Alright, they've got this, which they were just recruiting, so this is not a crisis stack, and then they've got 
One, two, three, four. Oh, they kind of spawned right. Yeah, they spawned a bit overlapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight stacks. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought they'd get. So who did they end up at war with? Let's check that. They ended up at war with Talsin. That's good. Clan Scryer. That's good. And Disciples of the Moor. So basically all the neighbors. They didn't end up at war with the other dwarf faction, which I have seen happen before. So who are you at war with? Okay, Golden Order, Broken Nose, Us plus Scrag. Yeah, that, that, that war with Scrag is looking a little silly at this point, isn't it? My coupon right. Hmm. Um, if I go... Yeah, let's go to Strength Rank here. I'm just curious. Okay, so they show us having Main Threat Broken Axe. The main thing... I'm not going to go through who, exactly who's fighting who. I don't think it matters too much. I just want to make sure. Yeah, this is a problem. I should have I should have spotted this when I when I was just checking his enemies. The fact he sees us as a main threat is not good. I think that means those stacks are going to be coming for us. And we cannot fight eight stacks of dwarves, not spread out at least. But we'll see. We he might not throw all of them at us. Oh, Musulana only at war with Bretonia plus us. Right. It's good when the, the endgame factions have at least one other endgame enemy. Oh man, and Wurzag doesn't either. Yikes. Okay, you're not at war with Sylvania, but you see them as the main threat. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this other stuff really doesn't matter too much. I guess... Yeah. Carrot can could be a bit of a problem too. Hmm. All right. Well, can we get money from Darkness people? Yes, comes. we can. Good. I mean, I'm just going to basically get oh, as much as I possibly can. That smells like yeah. We want whatever lot. agreements give us An the most upfront gold. I'm not interested in a trade agreement if it slightly lowers the amount of upfront gold we get, just because these ones aren't going to last very long. But we will go for this. Very good. Told me to listen, so That's good as well. Right. I hunt to stand before me and ask, pro comply. What? This is my place. Fine. Good amount of money here, at least. Yeah. Mooks Mostly from very doomed-looking so green yes. skin factions, funnily enough. Death walks. Oh, Clark Rand is still alive. Okay. As ordered. Ready. Yes, we, we started with like 21,000 at the beginning of the turn. We're definitely getting up towards 30,000 off this. Oh, these ones probably don't have much money. No. Nah. Non-aggression pact with these guys. Yes, I'm assuming... Oh, they're at war with the bloody hands, but not with... The Sentinels are not yet. Interesting. Find my heart. Land of the All right, Clan Scryer will do a military access. Yep, yeah, let's go for that. You're in my territory already, I guess. Fine. But yeah, we just want to stay on. We, we just want to be friends with Vicky The last thing we need at this point is, is someone else to fight. Broken Nose will do a peace treaty. Okay, let's see if we can reach that last army of theirs before doing the peace treaty. So Clan Angrand can't get to us immediately. They are at war with Clan Scryer, but somehow I can't see these two stacks of like Clan Rats and Skaven Slayers putting up much of a fight. So Miragliano got to tier 2, but sadly did not. we did not have time to get these walls up. Yeah, I mean, I think this is just lost. Ah, it's really frustrating. Well, it is what it is. I mean, it's unfortunate that the Dwarves spawned all their stacks here rather than, than further north. Maybe that always happens. Maybe I'm wrong and they just spawn on the capital. Not on the faction leader. Yeah, these ones have kind of spawned by Wurzag at least. 
All right, so what is our plan? I mean, it's all very well thinking about like this stuff, but this is not what's gonna be killing us here. We can fight. What is unthinkable? Yeah, Miragliano, I'm happy to just lose. Same with River Rafa, same if necessary with, with Lucini. Sartosa has the advantage of being more defensible, but not, not exactly against a faction with access to the underway. So, My lady will okay, not so you can get ashore, us. but even if you... Yeah, this is in Force March. They couldn't actually... Like, we can come and kill Rend, and they can't reach us. Yeah. Let's make sure we've got that Master Gunner assigned. Do not want to forget about that. Admiral. Oh, okay, we have to... Yeah, that's right. We have to do this something about we this because we're stuck in the zone of control. That's okay, though. Plunder! So I want to get... No respect. Yeah, we just have a bunch As of little yet. things to sort out here, don't we? Um, for you, let's work towards Pyromaniac. So let's go for maybe Gunsight. And the we need you to be tides. more tanky. Yeah, because it's... So generation is um, scales off maximum HP, like all healing in this game. So I'm thinking, well, melee defense would definitely be good. I don't think we need missile resistance quite as much. Let's go for uh, yeah. Let's go for melee defense. We'll put the fourth point into even more health, and then work up this way. All right. A pirate queen needs a throw. How much ammo do we have over here? Twenty-nine. Yeah, that's solid. We can get that a bit higher as well, I believe. We want you to get into Aranessa's army. Crew yeah. To me. So how are we arranging that? With a bit of difficulty. I think we need to move the. Yeah, we'll move the. Um, Sartos and Militia Dead over. Hands. Let me just check something here. We've got the construction cost down on all buildings, all provinces. We've got pirate crew growth plus 10. Yeah, th those are good, but... I am, I am interested to see whether I can catch those green skins if I get that plus 5% movement range. Yeah, you're not going to be able to. Ready to swordfish. All right. Maybe first things first. Bring them back. Deal with this. Okay. You come out of deck. force march. My compass agrees. Take one of these units off Aranessa, so we can fit you, you can into Aranessa's army. Need fresh recruits. Okay, then. What is your demand? You in camp? Yes, at once. You launch at this last, attack. We will feast. Yeah. Kill and kill it. All right. Very little here. Um, it will probably do a bit more damage to our frontline characters, but I'm fine with that. I think. Yeah, yeah. If we the next battle we fight manually, we can always go in and just just heal with um, invocation of Nahek. I'd rather that be a sort of minor battle than a major one, though. And let's just occupy this. Certainly not convinced we can hold on to it, but I think it's the best bet for the time the being. We can see this army coming oh, down, but I mean they're all playing Angrand as well. This is only three units, yeah. I don't think this is a big concern. We did get... Alright, we've got to level up on this guy. I think I should work on the red line with him. So what do you start with? You start with, yeah, the Tide Call, Breath Spell, the Magic Missiles, and Denizens of the Deep is the Summon. Yeah.
Let's work on the red line with this lord. Obviously he can't move now, that's alright though, he can stick there. We didn't get any other followers and stuff. No, it's okay. So let's go... No, sorry, not that one. Yeah, are we going to do any construction this turn? Because we, we are getting that discount. Oh, the answer is yes. So let's make sure we get that discount first. Don't think... Yeah, we don't need an upgrade here. We don't need an upgrade here. We do need defenses at Sartosa. And we have the option of building something else here, although we don't need to do this. I think we don't put anything here right now until we see how much is coming for us. Because if we can't hold Sartosa in the end... Like, I don't think... Yeah, putting an extra building down here I don't think is going to help us too much. We don't need too much... But yeah, we don't need help in the way of army composition. I guess it could be... I mean, none of these low-tier units are that helpful. We could get access to handgunners just from normal recruitment, but we've picked up enough from Ray's Dead... And, and that building would take a number of turns to construct anyway. Yeah, Maragliano, sadly, we're not going to get the balls up here. Can we build anything? Yeah, there's just nothing worth building. What do I need to access that right? I need three plunder piles, which is... Oh, it is only the tier one version, but I only have two major settlements. So even if I built this, I couldn't do it. Yeah, again, I think I just leave this. We want more Vampire Corruption, yeah. So let's switch you over to this, just for this turn. And let's see if that gives no, Aranesu talking. enough movement to reach this Orc army. You might be right. No, it doesn't. Well, that sucks. Um, have they lost their last settlement? Another victory. Uh, no, they haven't, okay. Alright, well what we want to do then is just... Yeah, because they get the turn after... Repance and also after Clan Angrand. Hmm. If we can't get to them, there's no way they have enough movement to get to Argalus. I think I should have Vinny and Aranessa in ambush stance in a position to come to Riff Ra Well, they're not going to get us get here in one turn though, are they? I think I should, yeah, we should be in ambush stance up within reinforcement range of Lucini. Because that way Rend won't be able to make a profitable attack. And even if he discovers us on his turn, because we're close to him in ambush stance, the Bretonians hopefully will already have moved, and hopefully they'll just come ashore in force march, and we can kind of pick them off next turn. Let us raid. Okay, I think I kind of like how that's all looking. We don't need to raise these units yet. We'd love to get another handgunner, but yeah, we didn't get one to spawn. So you come into yeah, ambush, dance, and stand here. Shamble. My ship. And you go in... Why does that use all of her movement? Hold on, that's weird. There'll be double rations on the ship this night! Hmm. That's a little suspicious. <laughs> Alright, well, let's move... Let's move here. It still says we have 25% movement left. No, not there. Yeah, okay. Not sure what that was all about, but it worked out fine. Can... Are we actually in reinforcement range here, though? I don't think we necessarily are. Okay, I... 
I think I value Ambush Dance more highly than actually protecting Lucini here. I'm not sure that we wouldn't win with the Garrison, just given these ones, just how weakened this, this guy's gotten. He obviously can't come seriously threaten Sartosa. Alright, so this didn't work out great, but we can swap him. We'll probably swap him over the, over this way to the Fleet Gunnery Master um, next turn. It was worth a try to see if Artosa, uh, Aranessa could get on top of this guy with just a little extra movement, but she was still a tiny bit short. What is your yeah, we can't do recruitment here. This will pull us out of ambush stance. So the hope is that the Bretonians come ashore kind of recklessly because they don't see us here. We can take care of them the and then it's not have to just worry about extra stuff while Anglin's attacking us. Can't get any defenses up here. Yeah. This is more or less... This is just going to get taken by someone else, but I think that's fine. The sea yeah, and you're stuck there this turn. I can recruit stuff. Um... Hmm. of the night. I think what I'd like is to get this up to full stack. And basically plan to have these two armies fight together. I think these two armies together can definitely take on one dwarf crisis stack. Either on the field or in a settlement. So I kind of feel like the gunnery mob gives better value than this unit. I mean, the upkeep on these ones is just a bit higher, and we don't have all the bonuses that Aranessa has on uh, on this lord for the Sartosans. Right. Okay, let's hold off on recruitment then. We're not building anything here. Yeah, technology. Blood and plunder. Um, Cursed of Replenishment, that's not bad, but we do have this effect still. Yeah, six more turns of Curse of the Queen's Cannon with a much bigger chunk of Cursed of Replenishment. So I don't think this is too important. There's a load of Cursed G. Yeah, there's more Cursed of Replenishment stuff here. I think we probably just want to improve... Something over this way, maybe a six turn... Yeah, maybe a six turn upgrade. Something that can make a little bit of an impact. So I'm looking at missile strength for artillery or missile strength for gunnery mob. Let's go missile strength for gunnery mob. Yeah, we can get it done in six turns. Just something a little more quicker. Uh, more quicker. A little quicker. Deckhands mob, yeah, we're not really using those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're leaving that. Damage building. Yeah, don't care about that. Okay, we've done all the diplomacy stuff we can do. We're still in a fine position financially. And look, I mean, as I said right at the start of the campaign, if Angrind really come out as hard, we don't have to just stand and fight them and die. We can just uh, run away, basically. Sail away. Okay, all the buildings here are coming in. We don't randomly have more hero capacity. Well, we have another hero capacity, I guess, but... No, actually? No, we're at one of one for everything. Okay. Just trying to think. Definitely don't want to be missing stuff out here. We assigned the gunner... Yeah. We know he can't get to our gallus. I'll relay the order. Yep, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's see what happens. The seas are mine. Oh yeah, this gave them run away because the dwarf stacks are coming. Can't say I blame them. Okay, that looked like armies moving in underway stance. Oh no, this this army didn't run away. Yeah, so we lost line of sight on Clan Angrand. 
It doesn't look like... Oh, no, no, here's a dwarf. Yeah, there's a dwarf that hopped down right here with underway. But not that many of them. Okay. Right. Well, we made ourselves look as weak as possible. And despite sailing across the ocean here, she decided she'd rather sail away. Well, that's fine. I'm okay if I never see them again. <laughs> Especially if they end up... Oh, uh, they might end up at War of the Beastmen or something? No, it doesn't look like they are at War of the Beastmen. There's not the crossed red sword. Okay, they just were... Just kind of got bored and went home. Fair enough. So now we're going to see what Rend does. We should be able to kill Rend. If he comes and attacks our settlement. Ah, uh, he did spot us out of ambush. Okay. Yeah, he's offering peace here. I mean... I think he's not going to die immediately. His faction, I mean. And I think they'll still probably make some offer like this after we kill or wound him and kill that army in the south. So I don't want peace right now. I'd rather he do something silly. I really just feel like I need... Interesting. Yeah, I feel like I just need more experience on my, my armies. Okay, so Lucini's getting wrecked. Still reckons decisive defeat here. Um, okay, that's fine. I Maybe he can still get out. Is that is that possible? I think he saw at least one of our armies out of ambush stance. So I could fight this and try and actually win, but that would leave less... That would, yeah, that would... I kind of want him to be stronger when we when we finish him off for the extra loot and stuff. On the other hand, what would we gain by holding this? I think it's almost nothing, given I haven't invested in in, in anything here. Let's just order resolve. He's going to take quite a lot of damage, I think. Yeah, look at him. He's he's very damaged. Okay. So he's going to go into force march and then run off somewhere. No, nope, he's just going to stand and and take it. All right. Good. <laughs> yeah, that worked out fine then. So we'll kill him. Oh, I see. He didn't... He didn't detect Aranessa's ambush. A little suspicious, given he he's kind of in, in range here. Like, why, why didn't we trigger an ambush when he... Maybe it's because of the way the, the movement took him after the sacking. Anyway. Alright, Leoness is dead. Ultimate campaign victory, have no enemies. Yep, that's a little ways off. And here come the dwarves. So... Of blight. Well, this is awkward, because this, this poor guy's put himself within reinforcement range of, of the settlement. So if the dwarves just come and attack the settlement, he's going to get killed on the Order of Resolve too. Yeah, but he gets his turn before the dwarves. No, so I guess this this guy can run away. So yeah, the dwarves can't get down what? south just yet. This guy's probably yeah. This guy's going to be in range to make an attack here. So Robin should run away, which was kind of my plan anyway. We get to see some of the army here. Yeah, these have gold chevrons. That's no. not good. These ones only have double silver, I and these no ones only have bronze. I am a yeah, it's pretty random what they end up so with. Smith. They all. Me yeah, I mean, all of them are going to have some long-range artillery, a bunch of shorter-range stuff, and then a bunch of, of infantry. We have to watch out for lightning strike. That is something to bear in mind, that I some of the lords, not maybe not the dwarf lords, but some of the lords of other factions, like I've seen the vampire counts, um, crisis lords spawn in with enough blue line points to have lightning strike, and that can really catch you out. Okay, well, first things first, let's deal with Rend. What is your so this is literally converting this hapless orc army into a bit of extra resources. Now he's going to run away, but we're going to run after him. Don't stop. All bones on deck. Yeah, we didn't recruit up to a full stack on My Vinny, but that's man. okay. Uh, you can stand... He's going to run in this direction, isn't he? No, that's fine. Dinner. We're not looking to so much as, you know, go out against the dwarves, so much as, like, lay in wait in a place where we can catch one of their armies at a time. 
And there's no heroes down here, that's that's a good thing. So we can use Ambush Dance, I think, pretty effectively if we get rid of this dude, of course. Yeah, we're actually stuck. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, okay, now I think I, I think I see what happened. The reason he went into Encamp Stance is because he ended up his movement, his automatic movement after sacking took him into Aranessa's zone of control. Now normally that would trigger an ambush, but it didn't because it wasn't like... Because it, it was just the movement after sacking. But because he's stuck in his zone of control, we can't get out, but he couldn't get out either, so that's what happened. Okay. Well... I mean, call it however you want. This is a very dead band of orcs. They will get to withdraw here. Yeah, but we'll be able to kill them and have enough movement to go back into ambush dance. Yeah, we're sadly not, not going to get much in the way of loot or anything Fear from this, but queen. it is what it is. Moves, yeah, Captain. definitely still going to make the attack of Aranessa. Yeah, you won't be able to go into ambush dance, that's not a problem though. Bride we just want to hide blood. our strength. At last. Yeah, we're replenishing here. There's no way we're going to take very much damage. Salt and blood. We fight. How on earth it's dealing damage to the deck gunners? No, it's all good. Yeah, we'll, we'll replenish. You know what? That wasn't a bad amount of loot. Um, I think this is such a small amount of experience. It's not really worth it. So do I want 600 money or the replenishment? We're replenishing this easily just off of being in our own territory of the end turn. So yeah, extra money. Bit of experience to maybe rank up on somebody. Yeah, bunch rank up. Okay. No magic item or follower though. That's part of the reason I've got multiple lords and I'm trying to fight these extra battles is, is to get um, magic items and things. But oh well. Yes, yeah, so that paid for our deficit this turn, even with, with that army being so weak. So looking at this, that. I'm expecting... Hmm. Are you, do you still view me as your main threat? No, you don't. Okay, so maybe there's a chance this army goes after the ogres instead of me? I'm surprised they don't view Talson as the main threat, but who knows. Can I actually do more diplomacy? Yeah, I should have checked this at the beginning. This is going to be a bunch of extra gold, isn't it? Right from the As you say. Good. Yeah, I mean, I'm really kind Forbidden of indiscriminately magic. making these deals with people. To my better nature. It's once. just the um, nature of the situation. Yeah, these ones don't have gold. Yeah, okay. Shall haunt you for the Fine. Kind of wish you could just exclude two kings from the diplomacy when you're trying to just make money off them. All right, now we go for a peace treaty with broken nose and get money. Yes! Oh, that worked out so, so well. Okay. We can also sign a non-aggression pact. And get even more money. Alright, look at that. So we got 16, 1700 money for actually wounding Rend and beating his guys up. And then we take another 3.6k off him for making peace. Which is ridiculous, because there's no way we're going to get up here. He has much bigger problems to worry about than me right now. But nevertheless, very happy to take that money. Yeah, I have to say, going to war with extra minor like factions at the beginning to get money, get a little money from our immediate neighbors, and then get more money when they come and sue for peace is yeah, that worked out just great in this campaign. Okay, so coming back, yeah, sorry, I'm all over the place with uh, what's going on. If this dwarf army comes down and attacks here, there's no vamp corruption here. It's it's untainted, so we'd probably just occupy it. So I want to have my stacks in position to attack him here. If he's on his own, just this stack, we want to be able to come and take it out if he occupies the settlement. Standing by. So... To our fault. Okay, uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to just... I think I'm just going to pick up the hunger 
on this other Vampire Lord. We're definitely going to be short on frontline fighters. He's got good melee defense, a bit of armor. He's anti-large, which sadly does almost nothing against the dwarves, but yeah, let's give him this, make him a better fighter. And he's used all his movement, that's okay. This isn't the god's victory. So he can it's but he can mine. still get back here in one turn. Yeah, so he can come support an attack at Argalus. Riff Raff is obviously gone. We just have to see what the dwarves do afterwards. It we it's kind of looking like they have split up a bit though. They've left one crisis stack in their settlement, which is good from from our point of view. Ready. All right, you're rank 7. Good. One point away. Yeah, we won't go for the hunger on this guy. We'll try and get wind of death. And we're one rank away from that. And then we've got a level up on you. Um, I think I want another... Yeah, I think I just want more spellcasting here. Don't think we need that extra 3% replenishment just yet at least while we have this, this buff. So yeah, Blood magic. Good. Right. So, let's have... Yeah, we're out of range to be spotted by anything in Out of Ambush Stance, so we can just move... Move to here. The trap yeah. is set. Doesn't matter so much this number. I, I'm not sure that this is directly correlated to... Um, To your chance of remaining hidden if there's enemy armies around. Um, man, it'd be really good to get buildings going with Aranessa though. But that takes her out of ambush stance, right? It does. Okay, let's just check on positioning with you. Yeah, you can stand more or less right by her. So the question is. So this guy can definitely stay in ambush stance, that's fine. If we want extra units, night. like I've said it many times, we can we can recruit extra units from Ray's Dead for this fight. Um, Get on. I don't think there's a reason not Get to march you over this way, just to have maybe more options. It's possible one of these dwarf armies ends up like around here. We have to worry about them too. So the question is, is it better to be, like, completely conceal our strength here, maybe induce the dwarves to be a bit reckless, or is it better to have Aranessa out of ambush stance so revealed? And I know that he, she's not in line of sight of them, but the AI just detects all your armies if they're not in ambush, uh, ambush stance. So, so the dwarves would know that she was here. Like, it won't rate my army highly against theirs in terms of order resolve. But it may mean that this army is like, just sacks this settlement and force marches out of range, or you know, is more conservative. And I want them to be more aggressive, like I want them to just be reckless. So I think I'll hold off on these buildings. Obviously it would be good to get them down, but it's nothing that's going to be an enormous boost right now. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. If this doesn't work, we can, we can change strategy next turn. Um... I think we want a fourth lord, to be honest. And I'll recruit... Yeah, we're going to get a revolt, which I don't think I care at all about. It's going to be up at Meragliano, and probably the dwarves will take care of it. So let's get another lord in. Um, got some got some high, uh, high loyalty pistol lords here, but... Yeah, I just value the ones with the higher melee defense with the, the melee only ones. A bit, a bit more highly. This debuff to enemy leadership, it's a tiny thing, but it's a it's a slight bonus for us. Yeah, let's get a let's go to a, a, a lore of vampires murderer. Doesn't increase our upkeep by too much. We're still under the 2k, and again, we've got lots of money and we're not really spending on a, on other stuff. Uh, loyalty might be a slight issue on this one, but I think it's okay. Okay, we rolled a three. Can we give you more loyalty somehow? Mm, kind of need all this stuff. Yeah. 
I could recruit a couple of units. I don't really... I don't think I want more of these. No. And you can get over here next turn, right? Yes, you can. Okay, so we're all, we're all set up to take out this stack if it comes to Argalis. Um, yeah, the stuff we can build here, getting the port finished would be nice, but yeah, that would actually give us the man-eaters, which are an interesting recruitment option. Don't think we want to buy any other stuff here. Defenses in three turns, yep, that'll be ready by the time any dwarves are down there. We're just leaving this, I think that's still fine. We've got characters reducing corruption, so let's just keep the edict on this. Although, hold on a second. No, we should switch. Oh, but we're going to lose. Yeah, we're going to lose the effects of this next turn. But we maybe should switch over to this for the ammo boost, just in case there's some scenario where like, the dwarves just sack this but don't occupy it. I have seen the AI do that. Like, If the corruption's really high, they sometimes... Um, we'll sack a settlement in a situation where they, they kind of are just better occupying it. So, sure, let's switch over, because armies in province would, would benefit all of, our, all of our guns down here, is what I'm thinking. Ooh, we can also do another right. Nice. Okay, that's good timing. We don't need this, not really, but this is what we want. The Vanguard deployment I don't think helps us too much. We don't really have many of these units. Um, but, yeah, attrition to foreign armies. Of course, the dwarves here are, are in underway stance, so they won't take attrition. But if they come out of that stance, Not I think likely. they'll be taking both vamp and... Yeah, I think they'll be taking both the vampire and the cursed mist attrition. If not, you know, it wasn't a huge amount of gold to spend. Yeah, I think we've done all we really can here. All set. Oh, we've got another... Hmm, right. We've got another handgunner unit here. Alright, well, well, we'll see how things develop. We might go and grab that. Um, maybe you should have checked and had this fourth lord start over that way. Yep, yeah, like I say, I don't think we need to pick up this other stuff right now. It's not going to be impactful. Let's... Oh, let's put you... Let's put you back here. Yeah, and then next turn we'll put him into this. Yes, okay. And you're too low rank. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go to the next turn. Bring it on, Clan Angrand. Yeah, absolutely nothing here. Okay. Come me on my ship and risk the wrath of Manan. Uh, what? Declare war from Tic Tac Toe? Uh, okay, if you want. How am I your main threat? You're literally at war with the Bowman of Orion who just spawned crisis stacks. Okay, whatever. Stupid Lizardman. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna hang around. Yeah, sorry about the attrition there, bro. Not that it makes a great deal of difference. If this army comes over... I mean, if the Skaven slightly distract the dwarves, they can't take on any of their stacks, but if they slightly distract them, that's fine. Okay, out of underway stance. Yeah. So we get a look at this army. It's interesting they didn't bother to bring these two stacks into support. I wonder if this means that they're not actually... Yeah, I wonder if that, that means they're not actually going to be moving this, this direction with those armies. Um, so... I mean, obviously we lose here. Is there anything I can do? I noticed that they only actually have one artillery unit in this army, which is interesting. They do have four Thunderers, who can be dangerous in some situations. Yeah, and they've got a massive boost to ammo. Look at that. Is there any chance I can get at the flame cannons? 
with this? I don't think so. You know what? I'm going to try it anyway. It's not going to take more than a few minutes. If we could... Yeah, none of the other units are vulnerable here, but if I could possibly get my pistol guys around the flank and get after the flame cannon, it would help. And all the resolve is never going to let that happen, so... Here we go. The good thing about the Dwarf Crisis armies is they are slow, and that doesn't... You know, that obviously doesn't make them easy to beat, but it does mean, it does kind of give you options, whereas against a lot of the other factions, the combination of fast and hard-hitting units and, like, you know, missile and, and heavy melee infantry kind of gives you almost, like, no chance to do anything with, with a small force. But maybe... It's too bad we don't have the global ability of the... Um, the Zephyr 42 pounders. Alright, so let's see how they've deployed here. Okay, flame cannons are here. They've got one unit of Iron Drakes with Troll Hammer Torpedo and one unit of Thunderers, so not. Yeah, uh, Longbeards and Hammerers. Meh, okay. Well, we can hopefully run away from them. We're just gonna go for this. Yeah, we're gonna deploy everything here and just rush these ones. Obviously, they're gonna be coming in and capping our points, which we can't stop. Uh, let's get a tower down. Yeah. So three towers, two barricades. Um, I think a tower here. Uh, it's not even great armor piercing, but it's, it's what we've got. I think a tower here should be able to help us. Yeah. We have Vanguard deployment on these ones. That's good. I'm not going to care about this Thunderer unit, although... Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Land lover. We're just going to go all in on... Aye. Trying to get round here and damage these. I don't think it's going to work, but it, like I was saying, it's kind of the uh, only thing that's worth trying. Are we even faster than the dwarves? I'm not sure. No, we're actually significantly slower. Well, that makes this interesting. Alright. We're gonna need... Yeah, so maybe shouldn't have taken advantage of Vanguard deployments in the way that I did there. Alright, you just, just... Just get into melee with them. Okay, we can maybe run through here. Okay. You're now, you're now sacrificed, that's fine. The tower, can you shoot the flame cannon? There's a small chance we can pull this off, you know. Leadership's obviously terrible. The fact that we're massively overwhelmed, numbers-wise, is not helping. Ooh, and the flame cannon is just straight up wrecking us. Okay, that's good. Okay, try and ignore... Yeah, try and ignore that unit. We're not going to do enough damage to it. They don't have... Ugh, even the... Of course, the frickin' dwarfs. Even the, um... Crew of the flame cannons have 50 armor. Well, we've done some damage, but the trouble is we need to get them under 5%, I believe, for the unit to be completely wiped out. Yeah. Oh, it was a good effort. Oh, it was, it was an effort, <laughs> if it's not good. Okay. Not gotten the best, we're not in the best position here. We need more, yeah, we've gotten, got, gotten blocked off by the silly thunderers and the, the other ones. We need to 
just focus on this unit. They're actually wavering, which is bad, because I think that'll probably get them out of melee. Okay, we're, we're not getting at destroyed quite as fast as I expected here somehow. We might do this. Overboard! Come on, dead boys. Oh, and their leadership's so high, they're actually kind of just fighting for death, which is maybe good for us right here. Yeah, the dwarves haven't managed to cap everything else yet, so we don't auto-lose from that, although this is going down. Yeah, we lost a victory point. We only have to kill... No, we have to kill... I think we have to kill all but one of them. There's only three left. They're right here. We're kind of surrounding them. Come on, guys. We can do it. There's only one left! I think we got the unit. I think we got them. I mean, obviously in the scheme of... in the in the context of this battle, this is like... He's not even routing. Look at this dude. Massive dwarf balls. But yeah, he's gonna get wiped out, because he's... he's uh... Yeah, we might actually just... yeah, we straight up killed all that unit. I'll have to say, I mean, these units lasted... at the end, the... Um, the deckhands did last better in melee than the poor the p poor pistoliers who were just yeah the pistoliers are so useless against dwarves. All right, well I'm gonna call that a success. So there's no artillery left in this army. Like obviously they can recruit a twentieth unit, but they don't have access to anything nearly as dangerous as this. And this is bronze chevron experience. I mean Aranessa. Aranessa could almost fight this stack on her own. Uh, no, I mean, not on her own, on her own, but like Aranessa's stack up against this stack. This is definitely the weakest. So let's see. If they leave, if they leave this army here, and they send those other two that came over in, hmm, underway stance up towards Miragliano, we can maybe come and take them out. You've got to just look for little openings like this, I think, against the crisis. Not try and take them on, you know, head on and end up fighting three, four armies at once. Like, that's never going to work. Yeah, that unit's gone. Good. We did literally one casualty apart from the crew, but, but we did achieve the objective. Yes, and they sacked it like I was saying they probably would. Okay, so Miragliano is besieged. Yeah, what are those other two stacks doing? And you're coming down... Oh, you didn't reach Al... Gallus. Ooh, and this army's force marching. Ooh, yes, okay. Nice. You know what? That all went kind of okay for us, I think. And keeping Aranesu in ambush stance, I think, worked out well. Of course, this could be a... We, don't, we haven't seen what's in this army. This was not the army... This is not the army that we just fought against. This is a, a full-strength army we haven't seen yet. But we might have an opportunity here to just take out that stack and not be open to a counterattack. I'm letting this run because, or hold on, I guess what I can do, I do care about movement of some of the other factions, but I should have done this earlier, just not have it take quite so long. We have to remember we're still at war with um, Scrag. by new mass. Yeah, we're gonna get a revolt. Okay, so a couple of things going on here then. Not likely. Curse Mist is doing its work. I mean it's not exactly gonna let Maragliano hold, but it's taking up these dwarves at least. I wonder if 
Nah, I think these armies are just so weak. They've got, they've got a nuke. I was going to say, I wonder if these armies would actually come try and take out the, take on the dwarves here and have my garrison sal sally out to help. That would be a funny battle. Anyway, yeah, so we've got this stack we can take out. Oh, I'm mistaken, sorry. This was the army that attacked Riff Raffa. Okay, I got myself muddled, muddled up. I will not yeah, okay. So a couple of things here. We can take out this army, I think, relatively easily. They're a bit damaged from the attrition. Can't see the wood for the trees. Yeah. So we just need to position Stop that! Stop that! We need to position to not get got by this army afterwards, but I think we can do that. Alright, well that's gonna end uh, that's gonna do it for this part, part number four. In for obviously a lot of fighting against Clan Angrand here and possibly giving up and running on sailing away. But, um, you know, it's not started too badly for us. These ones have also left themselves in the zone of control of Riff Raffa, so they're going to have to attack it again over the end turn, which kind of wastes more of their movement. Yeah, very good that we've got a stack isolated right away. Alright, well, yeah, like I say, that's going to do it. We'll have uh, some fun battles next time. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in part number five.